Mishnabura brings down in the beginning of Hilchus Shabbos that a person that keeps Shabbos he gets rewarded Ashirut, that means he becomes rewarded of richness and also he becomes rewarded Mitzarim Bli Nachala he gets um, all border, he gets a whole lot of, he gets a portion without borders. So we see that a person that keeps Shabbos, he gets a lot, a lot of richness and he gets a lot of big portion. The Bach says, Midah keneged Midah. Why was he Zoyche? So I had an understanding this week why does a person that keeps Shabbos becomes rich, gets a lot of money? Everyone's looking for money. Person that keeps Shabbos gets weak. Because a person that keeps Shabbos has to do two things. First of all, he has to leave a day of work. He has to cancel a day of work. He could have gained money. Instead of gaining money, he canceled the day. And not only that, it says in Aloha that a person has to pay money to buy to buy good um, to enjoy the Shabbos, you have to buy good foods, you have to be well, buy wine, meat, expensive meat, the person pays money. Not only that he loses a day of work, he doesn't work on Shabbos, he doesn't gain money, he also has to pay money. So the Torah says that you gave me for yourself, you they gave me a day of work, and you also paid a lot of money. Hashem will give you back richness, and uh, Hashem will give you back richness. And we, uh, I was once was driving with a taxi, and the taxi driver said they used to take take um, used to take um, people on Shabbos, and used to gain money. Once he saw that a whole lot of um, things got started getting messing up in his house, he started using started losing money from other other places. He gained money over here, but he lost money from it. So from then he started keeping Shabbos. And he saw a whole lot of brocha in his money. Shukriya.